First of all, uh, uh, you know, um, in last ASCO, in last ASCO, you know, there was a survey on the triple negative and uh, uh, local regional management. And in fact, you know, about you know, 27 or 28 uh, big centers all, all over the world that has been chosen. And uh, most of them, they believe that, you know, mastectomy should be applied to patients with a triple negative. And uh, because the triple negative subtype now, we are going to go to a new era for genomic testing, uh, subclassification, understanding more about you know, the subtype of uh, the triple negative, and they are not one type. So basically, uh, I'm going to share with you, first of all, this is maybe the most update, the latest update on this topic. So you can take the slides if you want and you can use it for teaching or whatever you want to do. It is yours. Um, first of all, this is the background. As uh, Dr. Mohammed he mentioned to us about the triple negative and associated with more aggressive disease. As you can see here, the most important, and we see a lot of this is younger age. They are high grade, large tumor, BRCA mutation, earlier recurrence, more distant uh, uh, metastasis, and worse overall survival. So even within the survey, you know, it has been done for this 27, including the MD Anderson, most of the physician there, they suggest that for this group of patients, they have to go for mastectomy rather than conservative surgery or less uh, invasive surgery because of all these problems and the, uh, the problem of the triple negative. Now, another thing which is 20% of triple negative harbor BRCA mutation, which we are not using, we are not doing it on, in, on, on a clinical basis for every single patient for BRCA1 and BRCA2, but at the legal level now in the United States, if you have a patient with a triple negative and you don't do for them BRCA1 and BRCA2, you may have problem with the uh, court question. So there is a certain patient, one of them, the BRCA1 and BRCA2, you have to be done is uh, this sub-patient population. Now, in our region, however, we are writing guidelines, but we are putting this point just to protect ourselves. Now, uh, importantly for the feature of triple negative, as you can see here, there is a weak relationship between tumor size and nodal sets, and we are not seeing this a lot. You find, you know, tumor size of 2 centimeter and then 15 out of 15 lymph node positive. Or you have somebody who has 10 centimeter mass coming with locally advanced and there is negative node. So this is one of the issues we don't understand, you know, the behavior of triple negative. Now, it is, there is rapid rise in the risk of recurrence following diagnosis we know. The peak is about 1 to 3 uh, distance recurrence, rarely preceded by local recurrence. Local recurrence not predictive of distance, as Dr. Mohammed he said to us in the uh, lecture. Now, remember one thing which is very important. Soon, we are going to classify this patient, as you can see. We have a basal and non-basal. We have a basal and something which is called Claudian low. And the Claudian low, in fact, you know, uh, anybody who attend, you know, the lectures yesterday, most of the people that are talking about the classification, but this is not the recent classification. Everybody mentioning this. But remember one thing that now in the next maybe year or two, we are going to classify a basal versus non-basal. A non-basal, this is the Claudian claw, which is considered to be the most aggressive subtype for the triple negative, which is immunomodulator, mesenchymal, mesenchymal, and then luminal uh, 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 androgen receptor. Now, this is, uh, as uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Mohammed he mentioned to us, this is the data showing lumpectomy versus mastectomy that there is no difference, you know, over many years, as you can see here. 
starting maybe for follow-up, which is more than you know 20 years or more 26 years like in CI USA, and there is no difference between less invasive or mastectomy in any time. You know during that time, you know we don't know much about the triple negative. You know 25 years ago. Now the most important question for us today is BCT. Do local regional recurrence rate difference by biological subtype? And I think that this is a very important question that we have to use in future about this. Do we have to give them less invasive surgery? As you can see here, this is the number of study has been done. As, as you can see here, this is one of the largest. And then you can see here, local recurrence, triple negative versus no triple negative, it is 1717. Then uh, uh, Susanna Dent, you know, this is from uh, Canada, uh, 13 versus 12. As you can see here, uh, as you can see here, there are some studies has been shown. Local recurrence is higher, the others, as you can see, no. Now, having said that, this is one of these two major studies. This is the first one, which has been by, by uh, Bruce Hafeiti, where uh, they are uh, looking for a follow-up at nine years. As you can see here, the total number of non-triple negative, it is about 492, and triple negative is 117. Overall, the local recurrence, there is no difference between the two when you apply the BCT. And the other one, the triple negative clinical feature and pattern of recurrence, this is a big number. As you can see here, more than 1,500, and triple negative is 1,180, okay? And then, you know, the overall recurrence rate, it is 13 versus, you know, 12, you know, with no significant p-value. Meaning that the people of, you know, the 27th survey showing that, you know, BCT is not safe may not right. Let us see and we continue. So this is the two big study has been shown that. Now, again, people, they look for age, subtype, local recurrence after breast conservative surgery in triple negative. And in this study, as you can see here, this is, has been done through a central lab, where it has been classified the patient lumina A, lumina B, lumina uh, HER2 positive, uh, HER2 negative, and then the HER2 positive group and the triple negative. As you can see here, if you are comparing the lumina A versus the triple negative, you know that difference is big, which is, as you can see here, 0.8% versus 9%. Now, this is local recurrence by subtype. The follow-up is about 85 months. The total number here, as you can see, big, it is almost about 1,500 patients, and 174 of them are triple negative disease. Now again, here in the same study, when they look for the age, we know that the younger the age, you know, the high possibility of this patient to have local recurrence. And this is why some people, they believe that this group of patients should go for mastectomy rather than uh, 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 press, I mean, lumpectomy or whatever they are, the risk invasive surgery. Now, this is a study which is the prediction of the local recurrence, distant metastasis and death after BCT, okay, in, in patient, uh, uh, invasive, you know, uh, 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 and uh, early stage breast cancer and the R and a triple negative. So this is the sub-analysis of almost about 500 patients, medium for up about 84 months, and uh, as you can see here, if you have a lumina A, you know the chance of the local recurrence at 10 years is 4.8, lumina B it is 8.6, and here you see here the basal like or the triple negative it is almost 17.3. So this is the patient again who has BCT. So we have a conflict. So the HER2 again it is 15.3. Now, so why the conflict you know, after the BCT is uh, of worse for local recurrence for triple negative? So this is the most important question. But for, uh, uh, first of all, there is improved classification over time. Gene amplification, you know, especially for the HER2, it has been very well established. More wide use of target therapy, trastuzumab and the others. More patients receive systemic chemotherapy. You know, higher negative margin rate, we are concentrating on this now. You know, more detailed classification over time. And, you know, the earlier study, you know, triple negative versus non-triple negative was not there. But now we have attention to look for this group of patients. Now here, local regional control according to surrogate marker of breast cancer subtype and response to neoadjuvant chemotherapy in breast cancer patients underwent, you know, the BCT. Again, as you can see here, 
it is very important to note, you know, this is the patient number, it is almost about 500, and this is, you know, the local recurrence free survival subtype after new adjuvant chemotherapy, and again, as you can see here, you know, patient with the triple negative, you know, is doing worse than, you know, the group who has ER positive, which is considered to be lumina A. So again, really the triple negative is the problematic to some extent, however, has been treated aggressively with the chemotherapy. Now, uh, this is the response to neoadjuvant and long-term survival in patients with a triple negative breast cancer. Uh, here again, as you can see here, uh, the number of the triple negative, as you can see here from this, who is achieving pathological CR versus non-pathological CR, and again, the patient who has residual disease. So basically, if you have a patient who is triple negative and you give them chemotherapy and they have residual disease, I think that you need the radiation and maybe consideration or to do mastectomy in, in favorable. As you can see here, non-triple, however, non-triple versus triple negative, as you can see here, both they are doing relatively bad, okay? Now, again, uh, uh, this is maybe one of the largest study. Uh, this is just in 2014. Uh, has been uh, uh, discussed. Uh, this is the local regional recurrence after new adjuvant chemotherapy. Pulled analysis results from collaborative group new adjuvant chemotherapy. This is more than 12,000 patients has been looked for pathological CR versus non-pathological CR, and they are looking specifically for local regional recurrence. Look, look for this. So a patient who had lumpectomy, you see here there is no difference between the two. You know, the pathological versus non-pathological CR. But here for the mastectomy, the patient who has radiation versus no radiation, it is in favor in the group that they have radiation. Again, uh, uh, if you're looking for the subtype here again, uh, uh, you can see that the triple negative who has no achieving PCR, they have a higher, you know, local recurrence than the other, indicating that, you know, the aggressiveness of the tumor. Again, if we are taking the whole for this 12,000 patient, patient who has triple negative disease, HER2 negative, as you can see here, the risk of local recurrence is 13.5, hormonal receptor positive, grade one and two, it is 4.6, and then, you know, as you can see here, uh, it, it seems to be like it is higher than the lumina A and lumina B, which is HER2 negative disease. Again, this is a really a very important differential outcome by uh, radiotherapy after the BCT. As you can see here, patient who has low grade, uh, who receive radiation versus no radiation, it seems to be like the, the radiation is beneficial, and again here for T2 ER. But look for the one who is ER negative, either even T1 and T2, you know, the patient who has not received uh, 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 radiation, they have, as you can see here, 15 to 30 with no radiation, and again here for the group, it is almost about um, uh, uh, 30 to 60 percent for this group patient. Now, the other question, so we'll, let's look for the mastectomy uh, rather than uh, the lumpectomy, where do the local regional recurrence rate differ by biological subtype according to the survey that has been done? So this is the study, including about 1,000 patients of 3,000, more than 3,000 patients, high-risk breast cancer patients, randomly assigned to post-modified post -modified radical mastectomy and radiation for that. Tissue micro, all these patients has tissue microarray section to stain for ER, PR, and HER2, and the median follow-up, as you can see here, it is almost about 17 years. As you can see here, it is very clear, differential outcome with the post mastectomy radiation by subtype, as you can see here, it is extremely low in lumina A. You know, it is again here for ER, HER2 positive. As you can see, the one that don't receive radiation, it is a huge. And then, you know, for the one with the triple negative, it is a huge. And then, you know, this is the ER, and then a HER2 positive, you see the difference between the two. So basically, it seems to be like the radiation has a major impact on this group patient. Now, the session between biological subtype and local regional recurrence and newly diagnosed breast cancer. I think that this is another one which is very important. As you can see here, this is you have mastectomy. And again, you know, the percentage of patients with triple negative who has, you know, a, a recurrence for the hazard ratio, it is 4.7 comparing with the lumina A. Again, here, mastectomy versus BCT, local recurrence by subtype. As you can see here again, uh, uh, triple negative is the most important one in both, either the modified radical mastectomy 
and in fact, you know, the one that has PCT, as you can see, it is less than which have been here seen in the triple negative wise mastectomy, and this is one of the major study has been done looked at. Now, local regional recurrence after breast surgery systemic review. Uh, this is they look for almost about 13,000 patients, and uh, as you can see, who under either BCT and or mastectomy were identified from 15 study. Patients with lumina subtype had lower risk of local than both triple negative and HER2 positive, and this is you know clearly by the relative risk and the hazard ratio. Now, for early stage uh, triple negative, as Dr. Mohammed he mentioned, uh, BCT versus now everybody. This is you know local uh, uh, breast conservative sur surgery, achieve local recurrence, compared with the mastectomy in women with the T1 and the T2, but no negative triple, uh, 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 triple negative disease. And as you can see here, you see here that however, the total number of the patient is high, you know, this triple negative is almost about 646 patients, T1, T2, and zero. None of these patients had uh, none of these patients had radiation after modified radical mastectomy, and uh, you can see here there is no difference between who has PCT versus modified radical mastectomy in terms of local recurrence, distant metastasis, or even for the survivor. Triple negative uh, 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 is not contraindication. This is very important. It is not contraindication for breast uh, conservation, and as you can see here, this is almost about triple negative disease, more than uh, 1,300 patients. As you can see, either in stage one or stage two or stage three, there is no difference between breast conservative surgery or mastectomy in all terms, whatever there are, local regional recurrence, free survival. Now again, this is the probability of survival. Again, there is no difference between these two. If you, are no, uh, you choose the right patient to be done the BCT versus mastectomy. Is breast conservative therapy superior to mastectomy? This is another study with a triple negative disease. Again, this is a triple negative disease, which is almost about 800 patients, and they look for uh, PCT, mastectomy, mastectomy plus radiation, and the superiority, as you can see here, for the one who has MRM plus radiation, and also for PCT who received radiation, comparing with the one that has been treated only with modified radical mastectomy with no radiation. And this is a good number for the study. Now, local regional recurrence, this is the group here from uh, uh, Dr. Yasser Bayoumi uh, from uh, uh, Surgical Oncology uh, National Cancer Institute. It is just published in Target and Therapy in 2014. And again, this group, they look for a patient who had uh, triple negative disease. It is about 111 compared with the cross match, okay, for that. And they look for the patient who has radiation versus no radiation. But uh, interestingly enough, that you know, here for the surgery, you know, there is 29% of the patient who had no radiation for the BCT, and I don't know, is it this more than age of 70? And uh, this is a good risk, you know, they don't give radiation, so I don't understand why radiation has not been given to this group of patients. However, it is a surgery, it is BCT only, and in fact, you know, for the cross match, you know, the one that match for uh, uh, not a triple negative, Again, you know, there is a significant number of patients has not received. Maybe, yeah, the elderly, poor performance states or something like that, I don't know. But again, they say here from this study that, you know, uh, 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 giving radiation is very important for the triple negative, whether they have uh, a BCT or they have a mastectomy. Again, uh, there is no difference between the patient triple negative, either uh, they have, uh, again, uh, whatever the type of surgery provide, you know, the patient receive, therapy to this patient. Now, should, uh, I mean that, you know, uh, should the indication for um, uh, uh, post-modified radical mastectomy, and it is the question about radiation to be different triple negative than non-triple negative, this is the guideline, you know, of the Sangalin, and many other guidelines, I think that Dr. Mohammed Abdullah, he, you know, uh, concentrate on this, uh, on this topic, but again, now it has been shown, if you have triple negative disease and one, two, three positive note, Either they have this um, uh, mastectomy or they have BCT, of course. You know, they have to receive uh, uh, radiation. And this is very clear now for the triple negative who has one, two, three. And as I think that, you know, Dr. Mohammed he mentioned uh, uh, that, you know, this is one of the poor uh, 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 group of patients. Now, this is the, there is something which is called updated prognostic feature on post-modified radical mastectomy and triple negative. 
all patients had MRM, but they classified to T1, low, intermediate, and high group. And then, you know, as you can see here, the one that, you know, they have low risk, the chance of recurrence is low, but the intermediate in absence of radiation, as you can see, there, it is extremely high, and the other one, the same thing. Now, phase three trial of post-modified radical mastectomy for early stage triple negative disease. This is adjuvant chemotherapy and radiotherapy to triple negative, as you can see here. Uh, this is about 700 patients. Uh, all of them are, all of them are uh, triple negative. Just I maybe I have another slide or two. Let's just get this one. Um, so uh, uh, they are giving, uh, they have a mastectomy plus radiation with regional, if you know, they have more uh, two positive lymph nodes, 62 of these patients were less than age of 50, 80% 80 node negative, 64 had a tumor more than two centimeters, and uh, uh, the majority of these patients, they received chemo radiation, and as you can see here, chemo plus radiation in this group of patients is better than, you know, chemotherapy alone, and this is a fact for the triple negative. And again here, uh, this is when they are looking for the overall survival. The overall survival, it is, it, is, it, is, it is significant, and the hazard ratio improvement, it is almost about 20%. Now, in summary, as you can see here, similar, uh, if you are taking the whole publication together, similar local recurrence out outcome for triple negative and HER2 positive at baseline. Triple negative disease is shared with more than 50% local recurrence compared with the Lumina after BCT. Study from pre uh, trastuzumab may not reflect lower local recurrence. Uh, differential outcome or differential outcome after neoadjuvant chemotherapy related to ability to achieve pathological CR, which is the fact. And then, you know, differential outcome after radiation by using hormonal therapy is also suggested uh, in some of the <coughs> clinical trials. Again, if we are looking similar PCT, they appear to be difference in local outcome after mastectomy by subtype, as we mentioned on all of this study. Again, differential response to uh, uh, post-modified radical mastectomy by subtype is also suggested by clinical evidence. In summary, together, local, regional of PCT and mastectomy by subtype support the use of risk conserved for triple negative when giving radiation with that. Uh, Meta-analysis and other study suggested triple negative may be more appropriate treatment with the BCT than the mastectomy. Some suggest that patients receiving radiation in the mastectomy setting do not do as well as patients with intact breast, and this need more clinical trial to understand. Uh, again, as you can see here, mastectomy alone may not be the correct approach for early stage triple negative disease, seem to have the worst outcome. So the message now has been changed from thinking about the mastectomy to be selectively see the patient uh, 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 for yeah, less invasive surgery for triple negative and giving radiation and give chemotherapy. Thank you. Thanks, Professor Twenty for this very nice presentation. And now the floor is open for a couple of questions, please. extending our uh, radiation therapy on the adjuvant basis to this group of patients. And uh, the, the, the point now is to improve the techniques to reduce the toxicity of radiation therapy to such a group of patients. Uh, I totally agree with you that triple negative patients should have more aggressive surgery. And this is, I wish our surgeon available physically, actually, to have this message. But now the trend uh, from the surgeon's point of view is that they wanted to increase the incidence of saving the breast radical surgery. But your message is clear that triple negative patients should have more aggressive surgery. Thank you. And, and I can 
can tell you that it has been changed since that's ASCO. Uh, this is most of the guideline, you know, within most, you know, like Memorial Sloan Kettering. I have a very strong contact with them. Uh, 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 George Washington University, for example, you know, more this surgery, one, two, three positive, no, triple negative, they have to have radiation. And in fact, you know, we start applying this one to King Faisal. What I, am, what I want to say, you know, treatment of triple negative, they need a multidisciplinary team that you have to have a good surgeon, radiation, medical oncology together, guys, set, put the, the head together to give the best benefit to the patient. Because with no multidisciplinary clinic patient, it will be lost, okay? And this is not fair, you know, it is not fair even for a human, this is unethical. So uh, what I, my message that nearly in future that, you know, the triple negative and HER2 positive disease, uh, it will be a subtype or a type that we are going to deal with them even as a medical oncology I will treat only HER2 positive disease or I will treat a triple negative disease and so on. So, and we are going to split the, the Lumina A from our practice. You know, anybody can give hormonal therapy and we will see in the next few years about that. But for triple negative disease, you know, the cloud and low, this is the group that we have to concentrate on them to understand because this is the most aggressive. They are non-responsive to chemotherapy. We don't have target therapy for them. Thank you. Thank you again, Professor Tuegri and Professor Abdallah. And now we'll move to the next session, the ELECTA Symposium. Thank you.